Hey beautiful people, how are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. It's been quite some time since I last uploaded a video. It's been two weeks, but for me, that's actually very long because I upload videos every now and then. The reason behind is I got allergies all over my body from the cats that I adopted. But thanks God, I'm already better now and I'm back on track. So thank you to all of you guys who actually sent your love and support, especially the time that I was so sick. So for today, um, since this is one of the requested video before I even got sick, I'm going to share with you a video on how to make this very easy magnolia bunch. So I'm going to show you how to make this flower, the leaves and also the buds using cutter and also without using any cutters at all. So that's going to be two techniques for today. And then I would like to thank 18 Floristry for sending me this very beautiful dried floral bouquet. See that's so pretty. So I'm going to put it on the description box below. If in case you want to order from them, they have an array of beautiful dried flower arrangement. And I even had some lavender sprigs. Okay, see that? It's so, so good. It smells so good and it's so pretty. And it's dried flowers. So without further ado, let's start making flowers for today. Okay, so for today, I'm going to show you how to make a very easy magnolia flower. So the first technique, I'll be showing you how to make it using a specific cutter, which is cutter number two of the rose petal cutter. So for the size, this is 2.5 centimeter by 3 centimeter. Okay, so that's 2.5 centimeter by 3 centimeter. And then I'm also going to show you later a technique on how to make petals of magnolia without using any cutters at all, okay? So the first one, I will be using a cutter. So basically, this is a maco paste, but you can use clay. You can also use cold porcelain. You can also use gum paste. So for the recipe for my maco paste, you can check it on the description box below. I'm going to put it. So first, we roll our maco paste. Okay, so just roll it thin enough that you can still insert wire number 28. Okay, so it's a little bit thick, that's okay. So first you need to cut, so just press and then cut petal. So you need to cut around 10 to 15 petals, okay? So you can go from 10 to 15 petals, you can go more, but for me 15 is already way too much. And then I have here a container where I put my petals so it won't dry out. This is an ordinary um, Tupperware. Okay, so the first petal, it should be like this. So again, the measurement is 2.5 centimeter by 3 centimeter. Okay, so we're going to thin it out a little bit. So using my rolling pin, I'm just going to roll. Okay, see that? And then lift it up. And then I roll on the other side, lift. And then I roll, lift. And then again, I roll until I get a shape that is like so. Okay, and then after that, we will be inserting our, this is wire number 28. You can also use 24 or 26, but if you want your petals to be thinner, you have to use number 28. So you can also loop the ends, especially if you're a beginner. So what it does is it helps your petals not to move a little bit. Okay, but if you, if you are used to this already, you can actually insert the wire right away so i'm using number 28 here i inserted the wire until here and then after that i'm going to lock the ends okay and then after that i'll be getting my foam pad so what i need to do now using my bamboo skewers or barbecue stick i'm just gonna make lines which will act as the veinings of the flower okay so i'm starting at one point going to the other okay it should be from one point to the other. After that, I flip it over. Okay, so I put veinings on the other side as well. Okay, but if you do have a specific veiner for magnolias, you can use them. And then after this, what I'm going to do is I'll get a spoon. Okay, so I'll put this on my spoon. Just like that. And then I'm going to press hard on the center so that it will get that cupped shape okay so as you see you can do it like this for some petals and then for other petals you can actually extend it a little bit outside and then what i like to do i just press it over okay 
so as you create movements with your petals, okay? So you have to do this differently on uh, your 10 to 15 petals. So for today, we'll make uh, just around 10 or 11, okay? And then you have to let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then after that, I'll show you how to dust and assemble, okay? Okay, so right now, I'm gonna show you how to make a petal without using any cutters at all. Okay, so basically, if you plan to use no cutters at all, basically, you have to create small balls at least at the same sizes, okay? So here, I have a ball that is 1.5 centimeter. So what I have to do, uh, knead and massage the paste, okay? Smoothen it out on your palm and then make one end pointed and another a little bit pointed but not too much, okay? Just like a teardrop. And then what you need to do now, get a little bit of that cornstarch, okay? Put on your two fingers. Gently flat this over the mat. Okay, so what I have here is a foam pad, okay? So you need to flat it on your foam pad. So as you can see, I'm only pressing the sides, okay? Don't press the middle. Press only the sides. Because the middle part, that's where you'll be inserting your wire. Okay, so once you have at least the same size or shape, you can use your ball tool. Okay, so just dab in some cornstarch and then manipulate the shape so that it's going to be more similar to the magnolia petals, okay? So once you have a shape very similar, just do the same technique. Insert wire number 28. You can also use 26, okay? But I'm using 28 right now. And then after that, uh, using your bamboo skewers again, just create lines which will act as the veining. Okay, and then flip over, do the same thing, create lines. Okay, and then we get a spoon. Okay, so put it on the spoon. And then you press in the middle so that it will get the shape that's very cupped. And then after that, you can actually press. You can move it a little bit and press, okay, and pinch so you create movement. Or you can actually do it just like so, so that it's cupped. You have to let this dry for 10 to 15 minutes and then after that, I'll show you how to assemble and dust. Okay, so right now, our petals are drying. So I'm going to show you how to make the center of the magnolia flower. So basically, what I have here is a ball that is 2 cm. You can also make it 1.5. So I think 2 cm is a little bit too big. So we'll make it 1.5 cm. Okay. So this is 1.5 now. So what I have here is wire number 22. You can also use 24 but we'll be using 22 for now. This is color green because this will be acting as the stem later on. So insert. Okay and then just press and lock to make sure that it's secured. Don't forget to loop the ends of your wires okay. After that make the ends a little bit pointy. Okay, just like so, just like a teardrop. And then using your scissors, we need to cut small cuts. Okay, so we're going to zoom in so you can see it clearly. Okay, so I'll remove this so you can focus. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just create one cut and then another and then another and then another. Okay, so gently going up. Okay, so once you finish one side, you go another layer, upper. Okay, so you continue the process of doing this until you finish the very top. Okay, so make sure you only create small cuts so that it's appropriate. And then after that, what you're going to have is something like this. This is also the same technique if you're planning to create uh, clover flowers and then gomfrena. This is actually the same. You have to color it violet. So what I'm doing now is I'm making the center a little bit compact. Okay, and then you have to let this dry for 10 to 15 minutes. If you can dry it overnight, the better. Okay, and then after that, I'll show you how to dust. And then we will assemble in a short while. Okay, so while the petals are drying and also while the center is still drying, so I'm going to show you how to make 
um, the leaves of the magnolia flower without using any cutters at all. So what I have here is a paste that I colored green. So if you don't have green, if you mix in um, blue plus yellow, you'll also get green, okay? So basically, depending on the size of the leaf that you want, you have to create a small ball. So what I have here is 1.5 centimeter. So insert it on your wire. So this is wire number 24, but you can also use number 28 if you want your leaf to be thinner. Okay, so I just inserted it until here and then I press and lock one side. Okay, after that, make one end pointy. Okay, and then press with your thumb. Okay, you can make it longer and then press again and then press the sides to make sure that your leaves will be thin because we don't want leaves that are actually a little bit thick okay you want it thinner just like our petals okay so you can go thinner if you want you can use a foam pad to make it thinner but in my case i like it this way it's okay and then you get your leaf veiner so put it at the very end okay just like so and then press okay and then release so what you'll have is something like so okay so you can also press the center pinch it a little bit so that you create movements just like so you see that it's a very pretty leaf and then you have to let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then later we will assemble okay so right now our petals are a little bit dry so um, I'm gonna show you how I dust them one by one. So first for the colors that I'm using, so basically the brand that I use most of the time is Rainbow Dust. So what I have here is color red, and then I have this fuchsia color. You can also use purple. So for today, we're using purple. Okay, and then I have here cornstarch. So basically, um, for me, the, the colors of Magnolia is actually a mixture of two colors. So it's a little bit reddish violet. So for you to achieve that, you need to mix in two colors. So get a little bit of that purple and then get a little bit of that red. And a little bit of that cornstarch, mix it together. So what you'll have is reddish violet, okay, which is what we want to use. So first you need to get one petal that's actually really dry. Okay, so what you'll have is something like so. We start off with the center part, okay. Tap in the excess. So what I'm using is a flat brush. Okay, so start from inner part, going outside. Just gently brush. Okay, see that? It's like we're making a glow from within, going out. Okay, and then some ends of the petals, you can actually dust also. Okay, just like that. So this is the inner petal. On the outer part, what you would want to do, since we're using a flat brush, okay? So first, you create a line. Okay, a very thin line using just the tip of the flat brush. Okay, see that? There's like a line. Okay, that's very important for magnolias, for the back petals. Okay, after that, again, re repeat the same procedure. So it's as if it's glowing from outside, uh, from inside going out. Okay, again, from inside going out so that you just have this glow. And then after that, dust off some parts of the ends to make it more realistic. Okay, and then after that, you'll have something that looks like so. See that? So you have to do this on all the petals. Okay, remember the back part has that lining, okay? And then after that, I'll show you how to dust the center and then we will assemble. Okay, so right now, as you can see here, we are actually done dusting all the petals. So what I have here, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I am using a plain plate for my dusting for today. Uh, if you don't have a plate like this, you can also use um, a paper, okay? Um, let's say a, what do you call this? A parchment paper so that you won't get dust all over your area. But if you don't have a parchment paper, you can also use a plate. Okay, so... We'll be using a little bit of yellow. So this is Golden Yellow by Rainbow Dust. Okay, so we'll be coloring the center of our magnolias. So it's already dry. Okay, make sure that 
all the things that you're going to dust or color is dry, okay? Because if it's not dry, you're gonna have some problems with it. Okay, so I'm using a flat brush again. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of that yellow and then a little bit of that cornstarch. Okay, so that it's not that strong. And I'm just gonna dust the upper parts with color yellow. You see that? I'm avoiding the lower part because we will dust it with a little bit of pinkish purple or reddish violet, okay? So as to mimic the real center of the magnolias. Okay, make sure you have everything covered. Okay, so after that, you see it's like a gradation. You have to get your other brush that we used earlier for our little bit of red and a little bit of purple. Okay, just mix in two again. So now you brush the lower part, okay? So it should be like a little bit of ombre. The lower part should be darker. Okay, and then the upper part is lighter. You see that? That's how the color should be. Okay, so we're just mixing a little bit of red and purple to get that reddish violet color. Okay, make sure everything is dusted. Okay, we're done. So this is what it should look like. See that? It's very pretty. You can actually dust a little bit of the center with a little bit of reddish violet. Just a little, okay? Not too much. So that it's gonna have that burnt effect. Okay, and now we are done. So later on, I'll show you how to assemble our flower. Okay, so right now I'm gonna show you how to make the semi-open magnolia flower, okay? Because I want you to learn the, the different stages of the flower itself. So the first one is the semi-open flower, okay? So basically I have here three sets of petals, okay? So this is the same as the other petals. This is 2.5 by 3 centimeter. And I have one that is slightly smaller, so this is... 2 centimeter by 2.5 centimeter. Okay, so basically what you need to do, um, same technique, but you don't have to insert wire. Okay, so I'm just flattening the edges, make it thinner. Okay, just like so. And then for this one, for the center, this one I dried it overnight. So what I did, um, basically it's just like a bud, okay? So it's 1.5 centimeter. You can also make it bigger, but I made it smaller, okay? So it's 1.5, and then I inserted it on a wire number 22 with a loop at the end, okay? And then I closed, so that's gonna be like this. It's rock hard. Okay, so after that, using your foam pad, we need to add veining on our petals, okay? So just create lines. So for this one, you can actually do it just on one side because the outer part will only be the part that will be exposed. Okay, so I'm just creating lines. Again, just to add the veinings, okay? Just like so. And then after that, you need your edible glue. So for the edible glue, basically that's... um. Two tablespoons of warm water and then one one four teaspoon of tylose powder. Okay, so I'm gonna get it. Okay, so basically the first thing that you have to do is flip your petals. Okay, so we'll be adding edible glue. So again, that's one uh, two tablespoons of warm water with one four teaspoon of tylose powder. So you have to put um edible glue on a v-shape okay do the same with the other petals and even the smaller one okay just like so just put an ample amount not too much okay once you see that it's a little bit shiny that's okay and then get your bud 
first you press it okay so that it's a little bit attached and then gently press and manipulate the shape okay you can also play around with the petal so it should look like that okay and then get your other petal stick it in another direction okay just overlapping the other petal and then again you can make it a little bit more closed if you want um, again this is the semi-open magnolia flower or the bud okay you see that and then after that get your smaller one okay it no longer has glue so you need to add more of those glue okay on a v-shape and then after that attach it here okay so that there's gonna be no gap or lapses so for the last petal which is the smaller one normally what i do i flip this over as if it's a little bit opening okay just like so and then you have to let this dry and then after it's dry or once it's already dry you can start dusting okay so if i'm going to dust this let's see for example this is already dry so get your plate again okay, and then using the same color scheme and the same brush okay just mix in those two colors and then just dust okay so the lower part is again a little bit darker and then there's like a slight line okay over there and then you can dust some parts of the ends to make it more realistic okay just like so but again it's better to dust this when it's fully dry okay I'm just showing you the technique on how it should be dusted. Okay, just like that. See that? So this is our semi-open flower bud. Okay, it's very pretty. And then later on, we'll be adding some green um, details. Okay, so now we're going to assemble our flower. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how we assemble our flower. So what I have here is 9 petals, okay? But again, you can go from 10 to 15 petals, okay? So I'm just going to show you how I assemble it. So first, you need to get a floral tape, okay? Cut and always expand to activate the stickiness, okay? So first, you get your center and then you have to choose from the petals that you made. I know we made it randomly, but some of the petals are actually a little bit more cup. So you need to get that first. So this one. Okay, so bend and insert just right so. You see that? It should be at that level. Okay, and then get your floral tape. Okay, and then use this just like a thread. Okay, one, two. Okay. And then you can actually add your other petals. So we're first going to make a triad. Okay, see that? Should be like so. Okay, see that? Same level. After you made that triad, okay, you can actually go ahead and add your other petal so after the triad you just have to do it like randomly and see where your petals actually fits okay so in my case i just love to go around and just continue on adding my petals okay see that just gonna add some more more of my petals okay so you see that it's very pretty okay so this one normally what I do I add some petals on a different direction so just to add some character to the flower you see that so instead of adding it the same way I added it the other way around so it's going to make that flip. Okay. So that will serve as like the very first petal. Just like that. And continue 
wrapping the entire stem so that it's going to be very clean okay so just wrap it over okay and then cut the excess so this is what you have so this is our magnolia flower see that it's very pretty the coloring is just so right again you can pinch some of the petals to make it more realistic and then what you can do you can actually add some holes on the okay it won't focus hello okay you can add some holes and then add a little bit of yellow on the ends to make it more realistic and then add some greens okay so there you have it so now i'm gonna show you how to make a bunch okay so we get our stem so this is our stem so the first thing that you do you need to get um floral tape that's long enough okay so we get our bud first okay so but before that we'll be adding some leaves so these are the leaves that we made earlier of course i did other sizes as well so get smaller leaves at first okay and then wrap it with your floral tape and then you can add another one a little bit lower okay just continue wrapping and then we will get our first bud you okay, just place it just like so and then wrap so as you see i left a little space because later on we'll be adding some green details to make it more realistic and then i add a bigger leaf Okay, just like so and then continue wrapping okay and then when you run out of tape just get another one expand to activate the stickiness and then we get our flower so I'll be adding it just right so okay see that I bended it a little bit and then I'll be adding here my flower and then of course I'll add another leaf Okay, so that it's more pretty and realistic okay so again for the leaves if you want to make it bigger just make it a little bit bigger because um we didn't use any cutter for this one so if you want it bigger you have to make a more larger circle okay and then just move it a little bit okay so for this one what you want to do Okay, so I'll pull it a little bit outer using my pliers, okay? Just like that, and then I bend this a little bit to add some movement, okay? And then I open up these leaves, okay? Just like so, you see that? So it's more realistic. And then this one, I'll be adding the same color green that we used earlier, okay? just get a small amount this is around half a centimeter okay so just insert it you can move the leaves okay to add more detailing okay and then just blend it in you see that so that will act as the bud okay just move it with your fingers randomly and make sure this is fully attached okay you see that just like that you can move it with your fingers okay going upwards a little bit see that so that's how it should look like and then for this one you can add the same amount of green okay just to make it realistic actually you can do this before assembly but you can also do this this technique after assembly okay but for some people it's easier to do this before assembly okay so i'm just adding the color green there okay so that will act as the sepals of our flower okay so i'm just pressing it with my hands okay and now we are done okay so there you have it this is your magnolia flower bunch okay 
You can add some red details. So let's get our dust again. Okay, so we can add more of those detailing on the edges. Okay. Just to make it more realistic. And then, hello, focus. Okay, you can also add that on the ends of the leaves. Okay. And then actually now we are done with our magnolia bunch. You see that? It's very, very pretty. So I hope you learned a lot. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you very much for watching. Bye!